Chapter 2 Hi, and welcome back to our course on data structures. In this chapter, we will be diving into the world of arrays. Before we begin, I would like to make sure everyone is on the same page. Arrays are one of the most fundamental data structures in computer science, and they are used to store collections of data. An array is a contiguous block of memory that can store multiple values of the same data type. Let's take a look at a simple example of an array. Imagine you have a collection of numbers and you want to store them in a single variable. One way to do this is to create a list, like this. This is great, but what if you want to access a specific number in the list? You would need to loop through the entire list and check each number until you find the one you're looking for. This can be time-consuming and inefficient, especially if the list is very large. This is where arrays come in handy. With an array, you can store multiple values in a single variable, and access each value using an index. An index is simply a numerical identifier that points to a specific position in the array. Here's how you can declare an array in Python. As you can see, the syntax for declaring an array in Python is similar to that of a list. However, arrays in Python are limited to storing values of the same data type. In other programming languages, you might see arrays declared like this. This is an example of declaring an array of integers in C. The size of the array is specified in square brackets, and the values are initialized within curly brackets. Regardless of the programming language, the basic structure of an array is always the same. It consists of a contiguous block of memory, with each memory location storing a single value. The values can be accessed using an index, and the index starts from zero. Let's take a look at how we can access values in an array using an index. As you can see, accessing values in an array is as simple as specifying the index of the value you want to retrieve. The index is placed within square brackets after the name of the array. I hope this gives you a good understanding of arrays and their basic structure. In the next section, we'll dive into one-dimensional arrays and how they can be used to store and manipulate data. In the previous section, we discussed the basic structure of arrays and how values can be accessed using an index. In this section, we will delve into the different ways arrays can be used to store data. Arrays are used to store collections of data, and they can be used in a variety of applications. One of the most common uses of arrays is to store a sequence of values, such as a list of numbers or a list of names. Here's an example of an array used to store a list of numbers. And here's an example of an array used to store a list of names. In addition to storing sequences of values, arrays can also be used to store data in a two-dimensional format, such as a table. This can be useful when working with data that has multiple attributes, such as a list of employees with their name, age, and salary. Here's an example of a two-dimensional array used to store a list of employees. In this example, each row in the array represents a single employee, and the values in each row represent the name, age, and salary of the employee. Arrays can also be used to store data in a sparse format. A sparse array is an array in which most of the values are empty or zero. Sparse arrays are useful when working with data that has a lot of missing values, as they allow you to store the data in a compact format. Here's an example of a sparse array used to store a matrix. In this example, the sparse array is used to represent a matrix where most of the values are zero. The values that are not zero are stored in the array, and the rest of the values are assumed to be zero. I hope this gives you a good understanding of the different ways arrays can be used to store data. Whether you are storing a sequence of values, data with multiple attributes, or data with many missing values, arrays provide a flexible and efficient way to store and manipulate data. In the next section, we will dive into one-dimensional arrays and see how they can be used to store and manipulate data.
Arrays are a fundamental data structure and have been widely used in computer science for decades. They offer several advantages and disadvantages that are important to consider when choosing a data structure for your application. Advantages of Arrays 1. Easy to understand and use Arrays are simple to understand and use, even for those with limited programming experience. They provide a straightforward way to store and access data. 2. Fast access Arrays offer fast access to the data stored in them. Since arrays are stored in contiguous memory, accessing an element in an array takes constant time, regardless of the size of the array. 3. Efficient storage Arrays are efficient in terms of storage as they store data in a compact format. This means that you can store a large amount of data in a single array, making it easy to manage and manipulate. For easy to manipulate, arrays provide a simple way to manipulate data. For example, you can insert, delete, or update elements in an array, or sort the elements in the array. Disadvantages of arrays 1. Fixed size One of the main disadvantages of arrays is that they have a fixed size. Once an array is created, it cannot be resized, which can be a problem if you need to store more data than the array can hold. 2. Inefficient insertions and deletions Arrays are inefficient when it comes to inserting or deleting elements, especially if you need to insert or delete elements in the middle of the array. This is because when you insert or delete an element in an array, you need to shift all of the other elements to make room for the new element or fill the gap left by the deleted element. 3. Poor memory utilization Arrays are not the best option when it comes to memory utilization. When you create an array, you need to allocate memory for the entire array, even if you only plan to use a small portion of it. This can result in a waste of memory if you are only using a small portion of the array. In conclusion, arrays are a widely used data structure that offers several advantages and disadvantages. When choosing a data structure for your application, it's important to consider the advantages and disadvantages of arrays and weigh them against the requirements of your application. In the next section, we will dive into one-dimensional arrays and see how they can be used to store and manipulate data.